is Shivy Williams. I am your health, wellness, and fitness accountability coach. And I help you reach your goals by holding you accountable for reaching them. Yes! I know because that's what some of you have been asking for as an accountability coach, right? So, I gotta start my watch, sorry. <laughs> so, um, before I get started, today, sign up for the Move More to Win Challenge. We have awesome people that are participating. I'm so excited. Check out the link in this post. We start tomorrow. Again, it's only $5. And then you and someone else splits the pot for the cash at the end. But we also have some weekly, um, some weekly winners as well. And so I will post some of those winnings, what people could possibly win during the week. Now, we are on day four of this awesome challenge. So, if you are new, thank you for joining. If you're coming back, welcome back to doing the exercises. I'm excited to have you guys join me for this 30 days um, doing these exercises. So, make sure you grab your chair today. You don't have to use a chair. If you want to do the exercises on the floor and without a chair, that's fine. Now, if you are new or if you would like to, please head over to YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel, LBX Fitness, and then that way you know when I post these videos as well, in case you miss, um, in case you miss some or you need to make the days up. Now, we are doing two challenges for the month of March. We are doing a bedtime challenge. We are also doing a booty challenge. So you get to decide on which challenges you want to do. You can do them all with me or you can do one or the other. All I ask is that you give me 100%. If you cannot do all of the exercise, don't worry. Do what you can, just don't cheat. Let's get started. Now, on Saturdays for the bedtime workout, you we are gonna do the same exercises all the time. We are not gonna be doing the squats. We will be doing plank, sit-ups, and also one other one, um, and the push-ups. So let me grab my timer. I'm going to turn it on here. Okay. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is our push-ups. And we're going to do actually our, I mean, our, our sit-ups. We're going to do our sit-ups in this chair today. Okay. So, there's a couple different things I showed you how to do before when it came to doing the exercises in the chair. So, we can, you can sit in your chair and basically... To do the sit up in the chair, we're just gonna bend forward, squeezing your abs and breathing out. That's one way. Or you can lay on the chair this way, hands in front like this, and crunch up like this. So you have to find what's good for your back, okay? So what position is good for your back? Now we are going to be doing 30 of these. So, uh, I will do, let's say, halfway. I'll do these for 15, and then I'll sit in the chair and do the crunch where I crunch forward for 15. I'm going to put my hands on my chest. I'm going to lay my head back right now. I'm going to put my hands on my chest because the back of the chair, I can't put my arms behind my head, right? So, let's do, um, we're doing a total of 30. You can also sit in the chair like I did at the beginning. So, here we go. Up, breathe out, that's one. Try to get your shoulders up as high as you can, that's two. Pretend like there's a tennis ball between your chin and chest, three. Breathe out, that's four. Again, you can do full sit-ups on the floor, six. Breathe out, seven. Come up as high as you can, eight. Abs tight, nine. Ten. Great job. 11. We're not going fast. 12. Breathe out. 13. 14. Last one. 15. Not last one. We're halfway. I'm going to sit up. And for those of you who are going to sit in the chair and do them, this is what this looks like. I'm going to do 15 this way. Hands behind my head. Let's go. There. One. Two. Breathe out. Three, breathe out. 
Tight abs, four. You should be squeezing your abs when you go four. Five, we got 10 more, let's go. 10, nine. So I take a deep breath here, breathe out. Eight, seven, six. We have five more, five, breathe out. Four, three, two, tight abs. Last one. Again, you don't have to do these in the chair. You can actually do them on the floor if you would like. But again, these are alternative exercises for those of you who find it difficult to do things on the floor. Now I'm going to move my chair. We're going to do our 10 push-ups on the chair. Now. If you cannot do a push-up, you still need to be strengthening your triceps. You know, if you can't do them, that's fine. You'll stand like this. Back is flat, right? Don't arch your back. Abs are pulled in and they're tight. You're just going to do these pulses here. Just like this, little pulses. No cheating. So if you can do more, then do more. You can also go down a little bit further. This is going to actually um, stretch your hamstring. So you can bend your knees a little bit and do them that way. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into the push-up position. We only have 10 to do, you guys. So we're here. This is the position. Abs are tight. Butt is tight. Shoulder, elbow, wrist is aligned. Let's go. 10 to the out. Down, up, one. Down, breathe out, two. Down, breathe out, three. Four, abs are tight, five, butt is tight. Remember, we're working actually a lot of different muscle groups. We're halfway, six, breathe out, seven, let's go, eight. We got two more, we can do it. Nine, you can always do these against the wall. Ten, great job, everyone. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, you can do it against the wall if you're not... Um, ready to do it against the chair. Now, our last exercise is our plank. So I'm going to get our timer. We've got 30 seconds. You can actually plank on your hands using the chair if you would like. Basically, you'll be in that push-up position like this. Here. Squeezing your butt and abs. You can also go on your elbows, which is the way I'm going to do it today. Okay? So, Make sure your back's not arched. Set our timer. We got 30 seconds. This is it on your elbows. Let's go. Now, I want you to make sure you're squeezing your butt. Don't arch your back. Don't do this. Pull your abs in tight and breathe. Again, you can be on your hands like this. We got 10 seconds left. Just make sure you're breathing, abs are tight. I'm actually starting to shake some. <laughs> Butt is tight. That's it. So we are now done with our bedtime workout. Put my timer down. Now it's time for our booty challenge. So we are doing squats for the booty challenge. We are doing 20 squats. Now, this is what you do when you do the chair. Again, you don't have to use the chair. So, I'm going to do um, a couple of different ones. I'll do half this way, so my legs are shoulder width apart. I'm going to barely touch the chair with my butt, okay? So watch how I sit back. I'm sitting back so I can touch the chair. This is the same move that you do when you're just standing. See how I sat back? So, when we usually sit in the chair, you know, we actually sit back so we don't fall down. So, make sure you're sitting back. Touch the chair lightly. Let's get started. Let's go. Down. Squeeze once I thrust my hips forward. Down. Two. Down. Three. Sit back. Four. Sit back. Five. Squeeze tight. Squeeze. The action is in the squeeze when you stand up. Seven. Eight. Make sure you breathe out. Nine. Good job. Last 
That's 10. Now what I want to show you now, I'm going to move this back just a little bit more. I'm going to stand with my feet shoulder width apart. So if you want to do sumo squats, you can do them this way. And still touch the chair lightly, right? Down. Squeeze when you stand. One. So we're halfway. Two. You only can go down so far. Three. You're squeezed tight when you stand. Four. Let's go. Five. Six. Breathe out. Abs tight. Seven. Eight. Nine. Squeeze tight. And ten. Great job, everyone. So that's how we use the chair doing those. Next, bridges. We move up just a little bit. So, you know, it's the same position I showed you if you did the last exercise, which is the crunches in the, on the chair. So I'm going to lay back here. I'm actually going to rest my head on the chair. And what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze your butt and you're going to thrust your hips up to the ceiling. You can put a kettlebell right here or a dumbbell if you want more weight. So I come down and I thrust up, squeezing my butt tight and breathing out. Let's go. We got 10 of these to do. Here we go. Down, squeeze, one. We're not going to do these fast. Two. This also works your lower back. Three. So I want you to give me a hundred percent. Do what you can. Four. Whew. Down. Five. We're halfway. Six. Again, you can have weight here. Seven. Down. And eight. Squeeze tight. Two more. Breathe out, abs tight, butts tight. Last one, squeeze. That's it. Now, the next exercise we're doing are donkey kicks. I'm going to move my chair this way now. <laughs> so you can put your hands on here. And there's two different ways you can do these. Depends on your knees. You can do them with your legs straight or with your knee bent. So we're doing 10 of these. I'll do, just to show you the different ways, five with my knee bent. And five with my knees straight. And then you pick whichever one you want to do or you can alternate. So here we go. Leg is up. This knee does not go past this knee right here, okay? So here we go. Up, squeeze. That's one. Breathe out, two. Abs are tight. Squeeze, three. Four. Foot up to the ceiling. Five. This is it straight. Six. Breathe out, as tight, seven. This also works your lower back. Eight. Breathe out, nine, as tight, last one, ten. Great job. Other leg, I'm just going to switch legs here. Foot up to the ceiling. Let's go. Up, up, one. Squeeze tight. Two. Make sure your hips are not tilted. Three. So they're straight ahead. Four, don't turn. Five, squeeze tight. This is your leg straight. Six, no swinging. Seven, like don't do this. Okay, slow. Eight, come down, control. Nine, squeeze. Last one, ten. Guess what, you guys? We are done with today's workout. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Great job, everyone. So proud of you. Always make sure that you're giving 100%. Do what you can. If you need to switch, um, switch things up. If you need to take a rest, take a break, please take one. You can always jump back in with us. The goal and the key is to do more at the end than you did in the beginning. So consistency is the key. He. All right, you guys. So make sure you check out my website, www.leadingbyexample.us for more great health, wellness, and fitness tips. Also, there you will find my book, Who Needs a Gym? Using Social Media for Weight Loss. One of the ways I help you do that, right, with these videos. Also, if you want an autograph copy, that's where you'll buy it from. I will personally autograph it for you. Or you can go to Barnes & Noble online, 
Amazon or Books A Million Online and purchase the book. Whew, I'm tired now. I will see you guys tomorrow for day five. Remember, tomorrow also starts the Move More to Win Challenge. So if you haven't signed up, click the link in the post. Bye, everyone. Keep pushing on. Things are gonna be